Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a huge haul to show you. It's things I've gotten over the past two months and I was waiting for a few orders to get in before I filmed a haul so I could just film one. So before I get into the haul, I have a little request. So Star Central Magazine nominated me for Beauty Guru of the Month. It's me and a few other women on there and I would really, really, really appreciate if you could vote for me. I'll put the link down below if you want to click it. All you have to do is click the article and then you scroll down to the bottom you'll see like all our little bios and you can read about me if you want and then you hit Amanda which is me and vote and it would really mean the world to me. You don't have to make an account, you don't have to make an email, all you have to do is just hit vote and you can do it once on every device so you can even do it on your phone if you're watching me on your phone but it would really mean a lot. I've never been nominated for anything like this before and I was really surprised when they contacted me and asked me so it would really mean the world. I think it would be so cool to be featured in a magazine like I mean I think it's only online but still it's really cool like I don't know never been nominated for anything like that so I'd really appreciate it if you would I think voting lasts until maybe April but I mean might as well do it if you're gonna do it and it's fresh on your mind so I just wanted to ask you guys really quick if you would please do it and I would love you forever so yeah so let's go ahead and start with Ulta first I replenished my Maybelline Dream Lumi concealer this one's in the color nude I ran out of my other one and I was so sad because I love this and I love the formulation of this concealer I also picked up the covergirl 3-in-1 stay fabulous foundation I'm wearing this right now and the color I picked up is nude beige 832 I might actually try to go one shade darker we'll see but I am going to do a review on this soon then lastly, this isn't Drugstore or Sephora Ulta, this is just random, I picked up a pair of the Red Cherry Lashes number 43. I know a lot of people rave about these so I wanted to try them out. Now moving on to MAC, first I'll show you the lipsticks I got. Of course I got lipsticks like I need anymore. The first one I got is in Rebel. I've wanted this for so, so long. I always borrow my friends or I have the Wet n Wild one that's very similar. So I finally picked this up and I love it so much. I also got the color Please Me. This is a matte pink. It looks a lot lighter on the lips than in the tube. I do have pictures on Instagram of what it looks like on, but I've been wearing it so much because it gives you such a pouty, perfect lip. And then the last lipstick I got is in the color Faux. This one is a satin finish, and this also looks darker in the tube than on the lips, but it's a gorgeous, everyday, mauve pink, and it's just so, so pretty. Then for MAC, I also got the Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. This is a bronzer, and I was a little weary because I know a lot of people recommend this, but it looks really orange in the pan, but on, it looks really, really nice. I've been wearing it a ton. Now, Bahama Mama from The Balm is still my favorite bronzer, but I have been loving this for some color. Also, I got the MAC Fluid Line in Dip Down. I mentioned this in my February favorites because I've been using it for a few weeks, and I love this so much. I've been using it on my eyebrows almost every single day because I find you can do a more natural look or more dramatic. It's just you have to use it sparingly. And I've been using it as eyeliner, and I just I love it so, so, so much. So I also picked up that. I also picked up the Lip Erase from MAC. The color I got is in Dim. They had another color, I can't remember the name, but I got the color Dim and it's just a flesh tone color. I wanted this because my lips are very pigmented and it acts as a base for your lips before lipstick and it also cancels out any color on your lips so the true color of the lipstick will shine through. Now I know a lot of people use concealer and a lot of people use foundation and that's fine if that works for you, but for me it just kind of cakes up so I wanted to give this a try. Then the last item for MAC is something I got for my CCO. I didn't get it at the MAC store. And I got the blush in Modern Mandarin. This was a limited edition color. It came out with the Tray Chic collection. And I really wanted it. And I was freaking out when I saw it at the CCO because I wanted this one so bad. So now going on to Sephora. This is where I have the most products to show you. So I'm going to go through them kind of quick. I'll start off with face products. The first thing I picked up is the Makeup Forever Sense Eyes Makeup Remover. I love this. It's so, so good for the eyes. I tried lots of samples of this before I committed to buying it. So gentle on the eyes. I have contacts, so sometimes my eyes get a little watery and irritated with makeup removers. And just so far with this, I have not got irritated. Then I got the Urban Decay De-Slick Setting Spray. I've tried the all-nighter a long time ago and I didn't... I don't know, I just didn't know what to think of it. But I've tried the mini one of this and I love it. This is great if you have oily skin. You spray it on, but the thing I'm going to tell you is you do need to use it in layers. A lot of people I've heard use this and they're like, oh, it doesn't work. But it does work. It's just you need to spray this before you put your makeup on and after. Because when you build it in layers, it's really going to prevent that oil buildup on your face. I also picked up the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is my holy grail primer 
ever. Like if you've never tried this, at least go try a sample because it is amazing. Every skin type, it's waterproof so it prevents oil, makes your makeup last all day. I had the little mini one and I think I still maybe have one or two uses and I've had that one for about a year and I use it sparingly because I love it and I was biting the bullet to get this one but I finally got this one because it is so worth it. It is so worth it. Also has agents to make your skin glow and SPF so this is amazing. Then I got two foundations. The first is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra. This is in the color Buff 5. I think this color is a little bit too light for me. Um, I can, you know, mix it in with something darker, but I love the finish. And my next product I picked up is really exciting for me. I got the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I'm in the color Bamboo Beige. I've been trying this for months. I got samples and I just I love it so so much. This is very lightweight on the face. You barely use any product and it's full coverage. So for the eyes I got a few products. First is the Brow Wiz from Anastasia. This is in the color Brunette and I wanted to try something different besides my Maybelline Define a Brow because I haven't been using that in a very long time. So I wanted to try this and I actually wanted the brow powder but my Sephora was out of the Brunette and they've been out for like a month so I decided to pick up the pencil. Then lastly for the eyes I got a NARS eyeshadow duo. These are in the pan because this was gratis. Um, the color is Scorching Sun. I believe this was a limited edition color because when I googled it I'm pretty sure this was a past NARS collection. But it's a gorgeous yellowy camel and then you have this orange color with a little bit of sparkle. So this is really really pretty. I'm really excited to use it for some spring and summer looks. So moving on to a few cheek products. The first one is a luxury item I've been lusting after for so long and it's the Christian Dior Amber Diamond Face Highlighter. I've heard so many amazing things. I've used it in Sephora and it is just gorgeous, gorgeous. So it comes in this fancy little pouch and here's the packaging. It has the Dior and then the C for the Christian Dior is like hidden underneath that you can only see in the light. And then you have the mirror and the little highlighter. It is so gorgeous. I also got a few NARS blushes, and these are also in the pans because they were also gratis. So the first is in the color Desire, and this is a bubblegum fuchsia. It is so pretty. It's similar to the e.l.f. blush that I mentioned in my January favorites. I can't remember the name of it, but it is so pretty and so pigmented, so I'm really excited to use this. And then I also got a NARS blush in Mata Hari, and this is a lilac pink. It's a little bit more purple, a little bit more fuchsia, but it's so, so pretty and really cool toned, and I don't have anything like it. So I got this. Then I also got the blush and bronzer duo from NARS with Casino and Sin. So here's Sin and here's Casino. Casino is a reddish toned bronzer and Sin is a dirty purple berry blush and it is so gorgeous. I've always wanted Sin and I wanted Laguna but after swatching them I think Casino will work a little bit better because it's darker. But they're just so pretty so I also got those and I'm really excited to use these. NARS is definitely my favorite, favorite blush brand. So the last few things I have to show you are lip products of course. First, I got some lip glosses from Givenchy. Um, the first one is in color number two. This is their gloss interdict glosses. And I've swatched these before and they are extremely pigmented. They all have some kind of little sparkle or shimmer in it, but it looks shiny on the lips. It doesn't look glittery because I don't like glitter in my glosses, really. And then the other one I got is in the color number seven, and this is a bubblegum pink. It's really, really pretty. I also got a Givenchy lipstick. This one is in the color number 11, Rose Desire, and it's just a very cool toned pink. I do have a picture of this on my Instagram, but it's really, really creamy, really pretty. Then I got one of the Dior Attic lipsticks. This is in the color Miss Dior, number 343, and it's just an everyday peachy nude. Very similar to Shy Girl from MAC in the tube, but it's a lot sheer whenever you swatch it or put it on the lips. I love red lipsticks. I have a ton, not that I need any more, but this color is just so pretty. I got the OCC Lip Tar in NSFW. This red is just a true balanced red. It's so gorgeous, and it's a little bit more on the warm side, which I love warmer reds. So I got this, and I also have a picture of this on the lips on my Instagram. And then lastly, I got one of the Makeup Forever Aqua Lips. This is in the color 8C. I'm wearing this under Max Ruby Woo right now. So this is the first time I'm wearing it, so I can't tell you my thoughts on it. But I love their long wear lipsticks. The liquid lipsticks are amazing, and they do not budge. I have number, I think it's 9, which is the Fire Engine Red. They're just so gorgeous. But I got this because I need a good, long-lasting red lip liner because I cannot do dark lipstick or red lipstick without a lip liner. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you in my next one.